Hey everyone, what's going on? Vinny here from AndroidAuthority.com. Today I'm going to show everyone how to customize their lock screen completely. Basically, I'm going to show you how to make your lock screen exactly how you want it to look. How do you do that? Well, the app is called Widget Locker, and I believe it's $1.99 on the Android market, which is pretty reasonable considering what it does. So as you can see here, it's just pretty plain Jane once you first download it, which is how I am going to start off the video. So basically you have tool mode here once you click into the application, you have long press, drag and drop, blah, blah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I don't need it. So you pull it down to the bottom of the screen there, and then you have tool mode, but I'm going to go ahead and just click menu, and I'm going to click this button called add. Alright, and as you can see here you get some options for custom slider, applications, shortcuts, and widgets. I'm going to click custom. So, as you can see here, you can click get themes and get themes XDA. You're going to want to click get themes XDA. It's going to bring you to the XDA forms. It'll show you a little bit of what it looks like. You guys can go through yourself and find the ones you want. There's a bunch of themes on here to download. And basically what you do here is when it loads uh, taking a minute here okay here we go here we go here we go alright so as you can see we have some themes and right here it says themes index so you can click through these if you'd like and check these all out some links in there or you can scroll down a little further and there's ones right within the tab or right within the uh, the form rather I guess I should say but anyway so you like this one so you really like how this looks uh, all you have to do is go down here and click click it and it'll say it'll come up I'll show you guys what I mean and it'll say save as and it'll save and it'll take maybe five seconds at best and then what you're going to do is you're going to go into your downloads. I'm using Dolphin Browser. If you're using a different one, it might be a little bit different how to get your download history. But just get to your download history, and it'll show up right here just like this. It may not say that because that's the name of the one I chose. But it'll say something, something, blah, 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 dot zip. So you're going to click it, and it'll say install and add, install only, or cancel. Click install and add. Once you do that it'll pop up into widget locker try to get my camera to focus a little bit better here uh... basically so see we have this one right here which is the one i downloaded okay it's the one i chose and you just can click save and it'll appear on top of your home screen Now, what you might want to do is delete this pull this down to be your unlock and see we have this widget here it's a clock widget which is resizable which is kind of neat so let's say I want the time to be I don't know I don't want it that big I, I kind of like it right there so just click back button and let's say I kind of want it in the middle we can go here and click add and then add some widgets as well uh, any widgets that you have installed on your phone can go on here so if you're into that there's that option I'm personally not gonna do it just because uh, I'm just not feeling it I don't know I, I, I never really like the idea of having widgets on my lock screen but it's kinda cool okay so we're gonna go into settings just to show you guys kind of what widget locker uh, consists of you have buttons and inputs okay so Basically, it's going to give you some back button unlocks. So, uh, you know, if you're in tool mode, basically, it'll always unlock with the back button. Uh, you have some other options here to allow certain things. So, allow the menu button when you're in lock mode, always allowed in tool mode. Uh, I'm going to turn that off because I don't want it allowed in the actual lock menu. Uh, when I go into application, it'll always be allowed. So, I'm not, I don't want that on. Allow volume buttons. Adjust volumes on the lock screen. I'm going to go ahead and keep that. 
only allow volume cues while playing music. I'm going to turn that off. Allow interaction. Interact with widgets, shortcuts, and lock mode. Always allow tool mode. Of course, I'm going to keep that. Slider button interaction. Okay. Notification. Disable notification bar. Disables. Uh, basically, what this does is disables the expanding notification bar uh, when it's visible. Um, I'm going to keep that off. So basically, when I'm in lock mode, I can still pull down my notification bar, which I love. Because a lot of times when I'm in the lock screen, I try to pull it down real quick because I see the notification there. And I'm like, oh, hey, you know, got to unlock my device. So I love that. Um, also, there's some other stuff in here. I mean, the behavior of how it looks, the sound, you know, does it make a sound when you unlock it, stuff like that. Uh, nothing really, really to, uh, to look at. You know, you can disable some stuff. You can hide the notification bar if you like. Disable stuff, you know. Pretty, pretty general here. So we're going to go ahead and go back into this. And, oh, there's one thing I need to do. All right, so... A lot of times, your lock screen background is the background of your phone, which mine is right now. Well, I'm going to change that, and that's in look and feel. So you have background tint, which you can change. So it can be completely dark, you know, or you know, however you want it. But personally, I'm going to go ahead and go alternate wallpaper. Put that on and select a wallpaper. I'm going to go to Downloaded. I'm going to click this little power thing I downloaded earlier. I want it to be about there. Or do I want it there? I don't know. See, I'm going to have it there instead. Okay. So we'll go back. And that's what my lock screen is going to look like. So personally, I mean, I think that's pretty cool. It's a lot different. It's nothing like anyone else has. We'll go ahead and go unlock see if it's working I don't know if I set it to run no I didn't set it to run this is my usual one yet so we'll go ahead and go settings enable all right I will turn it off oh that's right there is a five second rule you can't un unlock it and then or lock it and then unlock it immediately you have to wait five seconds unless you're rooted but anyways so that's what it looks like I mean pretty cool I thought basically all I did to get that wallpaper I typed in um, power button on Google and I think it was like I don't know maybe the tenth result I thought it looked cool so I mean I think it's neat so let me know what you guys think this has been Vinny from AndroidAuthority.com don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, everyone. Subscribing really helps us out, and you know you'll like it. I mean, we have amazing videos every week coming out of this channel. And, hey, if you have a Twitter, don't forget to follow me at Vin underscore mobile. You know, if you just want to chat, you have some questions, whatever it might be, you can get in contact with me there. Also, hey, check out the website, androidauthority.com. Check out all the cool articles, cool releases, cool news first hand from androidauthority.com thanks for watching see you guys in the next one ladies